When it comes to any form of gardening, the most important part about it is to think about where the plants originally came from. And in order to get the best out of them, the soil that we plant them in needs to be able to emulate that and the light conditions. Well, thankfully, the guys from Garden Master have got it right. They have created for us gardeners the perfect mix. It's called the succulent mix. If you look at the mix, you can see it's quite coarse and gritty. There's quite a bit of organic material in here, which is the bark. And that, of course, helps to hold moisture. But the grittiness that I'm feeling, that is actually washed silica sand. And that helps for drainage. And of course, without good drainage, that is the destroyer of most succulents and cacti. Right, so let me show you how to either plant up or in this case, you'd follow exactly the same method with transplanting. So I always find it easier to work in a bowl. Don't try and fight with the big bag. So I've got these little terracotta pots. I love them because they work so beautifully for succulent and cacti. Because terracotta, being a natural product, water moves in and out of them in a natural manner. So if you happen to overwater, well, you know that the terracotta is going to help you out here. These pots have got quite big drainage holes. So as a rule of thumb, I either use gravel at the bottom of the pot, or I take a little piece of shade cloth, cut it to size, and just pop it over the little drainage hole. Right, next tip, and this is going to help you a lot, especially if you are using terracotta pots. What I just do is take anything really, pop it in the middle of my mixture and put my pot on top there. Number one, I've lifted it, ease of height for me to work on. And number two, I'm not going to get all the pot all dirty. So I've got this little guy that I picked up at Builders. It's called Echeveria hookeria. It really is going to look beautiful in here. As a general rule of thumb, because I'm often asked what size container must I use. Guys, don't overthink it. Simple rule, either one finger next to the plant or two fingers from the actual stem, the crown of the plant, means that you've got enough space once planted for this little guy to live in here quite happily for at least a year, sometimes two years, sometimes three. Next thing, trowel, a little bit of soil into the base. That should do it. And then squeeze, 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 squeeze. Hold him there, just like that. Turn him upside down. There we go, ha ha. All right, and out he comes. And then pop him in. Oh, lovely. Now don't stress if you get soil on it like that because I do that all the time. What we're now going to do is just take a little bit of soil and we're just going to feed it in. And then I'm going to use something quite unconventional and it's the only time I use these is when I'm planting up succulents or cacti. And these are chopsticks. And all I do is, is I grab them, my plant, and then feed the soil in a bit. Okay, so that's planting. One thing to remember, please, very important. Do not ever fill it all the way to the top because then when you're watering, the water simply goes off the edge. If you're putting a decorative gravel around it and you overfill it, the gravel ends up running around all over the table. So we want, do you see where my finger is there? There is at least a finger's depth from the soil to the lip of my terracotta pot. All right, let's get the others done and then we'll finish them off. All right, three beauties looking gorgeous. We can get this out the way. And then we're going to finish them off. Now, when you are working with gravel, I just put a little tray down or, or something like that so that I can save it and put it back in and recycle it for the next time. Now, before we get to putting on the gravel, the next thing I want you to do is just have a little paintbrush ready and do not, do not try this with your fingers alone. I always just take this and if I've messed any soil, which invariably happens, I just give it a little, a little brush a brush. Then we can go with our gravel. And same thing, just take it, hold the plant back gently. Also don't stress yourself out if uh, you end up putting a whole lot in the wrong place. <laughs> it's okay, because we've got ways to deal with that without breaking or damaging the plant. Just give it a little tap. Okay, it just kind of levels everything out. It still hasn't done that. Take your little brush. And then you see these critters that are in there, then we just take them out like that. Just a quick flick. 
and if some of them are too big you can take your little chopsticks as well and use them but just don't don't put your fingers in there please just don't whatever you do and that's how easy or difficult it is now when it comes to cacti the world is big now a lot of people are scared of them because of their thorns and it's the way that you approach it and the way that you touch them. Of course, if you're gonna take your hand and slam it against it, well, you can end up looking like a porcupine just attacked you. Um, but I've got a way to, to show you that we'll, we'll deal with it. Now, in terms of containers, if you don't have space to do this, kind of the, the whole little terracotta pot look, then go for a bowl because you can just fit so much more in. It takes up less space. And with a bit of heart, you can get a collection going in no time at all. So into this one, I'm gonna throw in some gravel. In terms of the thickness of the gravel, folks, it must just cover the, the bottom layer. I generally work on about one and a half to two centimeters of the base of the pot. Right, it's on here. In goes a bit of our mix. And then take one of your little guys that you're going to be planting and just pop them there. That will tell you if you've added too much soil or too little soil. Now, in this case, ugh. So it means I've got to take a bit of soil out. And remember, we still want that one finger rule of once we've planted it. So let's take a look there. Now, in here, I'm going to be putting in three. Plants work better in threes. They work better in odd numbers. And all we're going to do is pop them in. Now, if you're worried about doing this, okay, I get it, I get it. If you're worried about doing this, then I want you to get a pair of these extra, extra, extra long tweezers. Okay, um, no, I wouldn't recommend them for that. Um, and all I want you to do, guys, is grab it. Just grab the plant gently, turn them over. We're doing the same squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. And then we pop them into place. And folks, if you don't have one of these big gizmos, a bright tong does the job as well. Okay, so now we're going to hold this little boy up and we're now going to start filling in. And all this does is just gives it a bit of extra support so that I'm not planting up a crooked plot. When it comes to getting soil in between, take the pot that you used, squeeze it so you've made a little funnel and then you go, so much easier. And of course the chopsticks make it so much easier to get the soil in there without damaging and poking your fingers. Right, happiness is, remember, take your paintbrush, just get that all back in here. Ah, oh, aren't you so pretty? Gravel, final look. Literally take it as is, squeeze it a bit and go wild. Paintbrush, push them down. You've got a bit of excess. Last but not least, although they don't need a lot of water when you've transplanted something, you always have to give it a good watering. Remember, we're watering the soil, not the plant. And the next time I'll have to water these is in about two weeks time. And that is a mini intro into the wonderful world of cacti and succulents using the Garden Master Succulent Mix. Remember, everything I've used is available at your local builders, either in store or online. Remember to check out the blog for more inspiring videos, great hints and tips, how to become a better gardener, and you can do it too. Remember, get to builders and get it done.